Hey, it's Escaped Alien. I figured we should do some sorcery today. Let's open a beta booster box. Hey everyone, welcome back. To start off the video, just wanted to show off the Sorcery Contested Realm Crusades playmat. For those of us that were around in Magic history or no Magic history, Magic once upon a time had a Crusades card, but the company has shied away from artwork and cards like that. Sorcery leans into it though, so I kind of appreciate that they're willing to still make things like this in the face of controversy. So today we are opening a beta booster box of Sorcery. So on the sorcery boxes, you can tell whether or not it is alpha or beta by the little letter right here. It's very hard to see, uh, but it says a B for beta. If it were an alpha box, it has an A there. I do have a few alpha boxes lying around, but considering the price of them, I'm not planning on opening those anytime soon. Uh, I've opened a few packs of sorcery. I really like the artwork. I uh, really like what they are doing. Uh, but this is going to be my first time opening a full booster box, so I'm really excited to get into this. But first, let's go ahead and switch to human hands. Now that's better. Alright, so as we open this box, the time of filming this video, beta boxes have gone up quite a big amount in price. They're currently around the $250 to $300 mark. And I believe that was kickstarted because some bigger companies that were selling beta boxes finally sold out. I know there's supposed to be another small print run of beta, but I think for the most part everybody's waiting for the next set to come out. So the booster boxes, the cardboard feels like actually really nice quality. That's really cool too that they actually printed on the inside of the boxes. So here's our box topper. Avatar. Oh, yeah, and then I've seen these before. So these are little token cards. They're mini cards. Very cool. Alright, so I know with the rarity of sorcery, we're looking for uh, mainly exceptional cards, and then of course the unique cards. If you get a unique card, I mean those cards are several hundred dollars to thousands of dollars from what I've seen. So, Spirit Lich. Poison Nova, Gyrie Hippographs, Hippogriffs, and that's, okay, so we got two exceptionals there, three exceptionals, maybe I screwed that up, Cloud City, a unique site, so that's a unique, so I'm going to have to get, uh, forgive me for my unfamiliarity, I'm going to have to get used to, uh, looking at the cards and the rarities as I go through this, because I'm learning as I go. Like I said, I've only opened a few packs of sorcery. Alright, Roaming Monster. Drown. Armos Mer uh, Mercenaries. Scarecrow. Reign of Arrows. Apprentice Wizard. Rimland Nomads. Spin Attack. Wicker Mannequin, Pristorian Cavalry, Sorcerer, your avatar has entered the contest. Okay, so that's an avatar card. Interesting. So with Sorcery, they kind of went a different way with their rarity index. There's not like a little symbol. They just basically have words where the... Uh, text of the card is. So you'll see exceptional. That's a form of rarity. And then ordinary, unique, etc. Alright, so we have Stipe. Dwarven Digging Team. Iron Shackles. Oh, Elite. Maybe that's what we're looking for. Nightmare. So I think it goes Ordinary, Exceptional, Elite, and then Unique. So I think that's going to be one of our better hits there so far. Oh, sorry, my piles are falling over. Alright, Coral Reef, Kelpie, Scourge Zombies, Boil, 
Entangled Terrain, Mage Slayer. Oh, nice. Flaming Sword Hollow. Has an exceptional weapon, fames, and flares. Very nice. In Sorcery, I believe the Hollows are a little bit more rare. They kind of went back to when it was special to get a Hollow Foil card. Sedgecrafts, Ogre Goons, Spin Attack, Midnight Rogue. Then we have a Dark Tower. Packs feel really nice to open in Sorcery. Super easy. Coming from being a MetaZoo guy, that was like impossible to open packs. Sorcery opens very nicely. Raise Dead. Iceberg. As you can see, the artwork's very much the kind of older style, more of that 90s style that we used to see. Rolling Boulder. Vril Re uh, Revenant. There's another elite there. Mage Slayer. Pit Vipers. Roaming Monster. Berry. Cauldron Crones. Drown. Sandworm. Yeah, any Dune fans out there? Wild Boars. Highland Clansmen. Exorcism. Remote Desert. Alright, Summoning Sphere. Aqueduct. York Crossbowman. Here's a unique. Packed with the Devil, that's hardcore. Alright, so that is our first unique hit. Very cool. Extinguish. Sirocco Scorpions. Common Sense. Fire Harpoons. Amazon Warriors. Swan Maidens. Oh man, that's a mouthful. Pillarbury Bats, Pirate Ship, Snow Leopard, Sea Serpent, and Autumn River. Okay, so these cards kind of have a slick texture to them. Doesn't look like my piles want to stay, so sorry, let me move some stuff around. To... Real quick, I wanted to show too, I really like what they did with these boxes. So the boxes actually have these tabs in them. Uh, middles of the packs. So I'm sure that helps with keeping the packs uh, separated, probably for damage, and it also makes it pretty nice to store the cards in the booster boxes when you empty the booster box itself. Cornerstone. Felbog Frogmen. Frontier Settlers. There's another unique. Ultimate Horror. Wow. What an artwork there. Check that out. That's too unique so far. Apprentice Wizard. Grapple Shot. Blizzard. Extinguish. Critical Strike. Sirocco Scorpions. Pestrosian Calvary. Cloud Spirit. Sandworm, Land Surveyor, and a Red Desert. Alright. Brobe, Ding, Nag, Bullfrog. Lava Salamander, Hillock Basilisk, Lord of the Void, there's another unique, Fenvale Muse, Lightning Bolt, 
Spectral Stalker. Overpower. Disenchant. Okay, we have a hollow sinkhole that is in a, an elite as well. Very beautiful. Sandworm. Muck Lampreys. Bone Rabble. Exorcism. And Summer River. Some of you guys are already uh, very familiar with sorcery and you're looking at me opening packs and I get something good and I'm not reacting that much to it. I'm sorry. Like I said, first time opening a box, so I'm not going to really know what I get until I uh, check everything out after the video. Iron Shackles, Stipe, Oasis, Earthquake, another Elite. Amazon Warriors, Mage Slayer, Roaming Monster, Swan Maidens, Cave Trolls, Drown, Snow Leopard, Wild Boars, Sea Serpent, Polar Bears, and Summer River. Battering Ram, Colicky Dragonets, Frost Nova. There's another. Okay, that's an exception. Never mind. Death Speaker. That's an Avatar again. Not familiar with the gameplay of Sorcery, but I've heard it's been a lot of fun for people. Extinguish, Sirocco Scorpions, Common Sense, Avalin, Dirids. Deep Sea Mermaids, Spectral Stalker, Wall of Air, Culliburry Bats, Midnight Rogue, Porcupine Puffer, uh, Pufferfish, Humble Village. Cursed Albatross, Cone of Flame, Geyser, Sinkhole, there's another Elite, Mage Slayer, Roaming Monster, Pit Vipers, Drown, Armos Mercenaries, Fairy, Snow Leopard, Sea Serpent, Land Surveyor, Swamp Buffalo, and Remote Desert. This kind of looks like, for the most part, if you're going to get a hit, it could be closer to the front of the pack. It's kind of interesting how they do that. Alright, I'll try to speed it up a little bit. Poison Nova. Gear Argyri Hippogriffs. Host Eagle. Court Dester. So maybe that's Jester. That makes more sense. There's an elite. Tufted Turtles. Overpower. Coral Reef Kelpie. Disenchant. Boil. Entangled Terrain. Sandworm. Plumed Pegasus. Wild Boars. Highland Clansmen. And Red Desert. Definitely starting to see why early Magic fans that were around in the 90s have gravitated towards sorcery. Feel the cards, the artwork, makes a lot of sense. Stormy Seas, uh, Psionic Blast, Taurus Hammer Trinket, Ghost Ship, another Elite there, Coral Reef Kelpie, Boil, Entangled Terrain, Beast of Burden, Wall of Fire, and we have Oh wow, nice. Cathera Mechanism, a unique relic. 
of preternatural providence. Very beautiful. And it looks like looks like there is a little bit of texture on the uh, text for uh, the name and I guess what you would uh, say is like I guess the description. But very cool. Cloud spirit, porcupine pufferfish, sandworm, wild boars, and spring river. Okay, it looks like we're through about a third of the booster box. So I was thinking with uh, some of the alpha boxes I have, I might use those as like a celebration opening for the channel if I hit some kind of uh, goal or <clears throat> maybe a certain amount of subscribers or views. Clamor of Harpies. Abaspine Pikeman. Flaming Sword. Highland Falconeer. That's an elite Mad Dash. Azer Ridge Caravan. Beasts of Burden. Blood Ravens. Wall of Fire. Sacred Scarabs. Exorcism. Mortality. Muck Lampreys. Vile Imp. And Remote Desert. Have you ever looked up Lampreys? It's like the most alien looking creature on Earth, I swear. Or at least one of them. There's quite a bit of weird creatures on Earth. But Lampreys are uh, pretty messed up looking. Alright. Lucky Charm. Host Eagle. Lucky Charm. Candleman's Monks. Candle Moss Monks. Pit Vipers. Riptide. Beery. Cauldron Crones. Tufted Turtles. And a Spin Attack. Hollow Ordinary. Sleep. Muck Lamp Race. Bone Rabble. Exorcism. And Autumn River. Okay, Ormond Harpooners, Phase Assassin, Holy Ground, Magnetic Muzzle, Blink, Men of Lang, Grapple Shot, Blizzard, Old Salt Anchorman, Extinguish, Sandstorm, Minor Explosion, Land Surveyor, Plumed Pegasus, and Rustic Village. All right, Bane Win uh, Widow, Fay Changeling, Leap Attack, Master Tracker, Blizzard, Extinguish. Sirocco Scorpions, Common Sense, Fire Harpoons, Amazon Warriors, Muck Lampreys, Sandstorm, Minor Explosion, Plumed Pegasus, and Rustic Village. Alright, Wind Blast, Backstab, Floodplain, Sarawan Hydra, Sirocco Scorpions, Common Sense, Fire Harpoons, Dispel, Riptide, Scourge Zombies, Raw Dromedary, Miracle Workers, Highland Clansmen, Swamp Buffalo, and Simple Village. So I'm kind of wondering, I know Flesh and Blood felt like it was the first newer card game that was kind of coming for, I guess, I don't know what you would call it, maybe the more adult um, TCG players, but I feel like Sorcery is kind of maybe competing with Flesh and Blood there at this point. Buried Treasure. X marks the spot for the exceptional relics. 
holy ground. Skirmishers of Mu. Seven legged, uh, seven league boots. Boil. Rain of arrows. Entangled terrain. Beasts of burden. Wall of fire. Blink. Wild boars. Wall of air. Ogre goons. Midnight rogue. And lone tower. Flood, Autumn Unicorn, Giant Shark, Ghost Ship, Swan Maidens, Cave Trolls, Incinerates, Border Militia, Fade, Balmate Longbowman, Real Dromedary, Miracle Workers, Highland Clansmen, Land Surveyor, and Flame Caller, another Avatar card there. So I'm assuming some of these cards must not actually go in your deck. Maybe they're just like the, uh, some kind of hero card if they have a unique back like that. Or I suppose you can always just have them in sleeves to cover it. But they'd have to be, uh, solid color sleeves. Definitely want to look into this. I do have the starter decks for Sorcery Upon an opening too, so I'm sure I'll learn more when it comes to that. Blaze, Exilion Cyclops, Headless Haunt, Unland Angler, Boil, Entangled Terrain, Beast of Burden, Wall of Fire, Blink, Grapple Shot, Sandworm, Exorcism, Mortality, Vile Imp, and Rubble. Heron Sight. Chain Lightning, Vanguard Knights, Giant Shark, Ultimate Horror, Some unique. Border Militia, Fade, Belmonte Longbowman, Fenville Muse, Lightning Bolt, Firebolts, Sea Serpent, Unravel, Polar Bears, Teleports, and Summer River. Shield Wall, Monastery Gargoyle, Tragedy Worry Wart, Criticin Thays, Scent Hounds, Boss Troll, Dispel, Riptide, Scourge Zombies, Mage Slayer, Sleep, Minor Explosion, Bone Rabble, Siege Grabs, Spring River, Gnome Hollows, Kite Archer, Recall, Enchantress, there's another avatar for us, Beast of Burden, Wall of Fire, Roaming Monster, Drown, Blink, Autumn Unicorn, an exceptional beast renowned in legend, very beautiful, Pelibury Bats, Sandworm, Porcupine Pufferfish, uh, Petrosian Calvary, and Gothic Tower. Okay. Backstab. Flaming Sword, Mountain Pass, Panorama Manticore, 
Coral Reef Kelp Pie, Boil, Roaming Monster, Entangled Terrain, Beasts of Burden, Drown, Wicker Mannequin, Rimland Nomads, Fitzroyan Calvary, Ogre Goons, and Autumn River. Kyle Sybrants, Quarrelsome Kobolds, Unland Eel, Devil's Egg, Wall of Fire, Aramos Mercenaries, Blink, Grapple Shot, Scarecrow, Blizzard, Wall of Air, Miracle Workers, Plumed Pegasus, Cloud Spirits, and Dark Tower. Floodplain, Watchtower, Battering Ram, Master Tracker, another elite there, Rain of Arrows, Extinguish, Apprentice Wizard, Sirocco Scorpions, Common Sense, Critical Strike, Porcupine Pufferfish, Midnight Rogue, Wild Boars, Island Clansmen, and Gothic Tower. Kind of curious to see if uh, I assume Sorcerer is more of a player's game, but not sure uh, if people are trying to set collect. Colicky Dragonites, Frost Nova, Siren Templar, Balfry, Fire Harpoons, Dead of Night Demon, Wall of Ice, Grey Wolves, Heat Ray, Ice Lance. Sandworm, Exorcism, Mortality, Vile Imp, and Humble Village. Yeah, I wonder how the demographics panning out for sorcery. The uh, ratio of players versus collectors. Uh, Marine Voyage, Updraft Ridge. Dappery Lil, Vampire, Mix Aqua, Men of Lang, Ovalin, Dyrids, Old Salt Anchorman, Pit Vipers, Deep Sea Mermaids, Fairy, Muck Lampreys, Sandstorm, Minor Explosion, Plume Pegasus, and Lone Tower. Shield Wall, Monastery Gargoyle, Tragedy Worrywart, Replication, Fenvale Muse, Lightning Bolt, Firebolt, Scent Hounds, Boss Troll, Dispel, Snow Leopard, Swamp Buffalo, Wild Boars, Sea Serpent, and Arid Desert. Spirit Lich, Poison Nova, Gyre Hippogriffs, Belfry, Riptide, Scourge Zombies, Mage Slayer, Roaming Monster, Drown, Eramos Mercenaries, Teleports, Mortality, Polar Bears, Unravel, and Autumn River. Updraft Ridge, Oop. Bane Widow, Fey Changeling, Polymorph, Grey Wolves, Fire Harpoons, Amazon Warriors, Heat Ray, Ice Lance, looks like we have a Hollow, Bone Rabble, 
ordinary. Overgoon, Spin Attack, Midnight Road, Sandworm, and Arid Desert. Ridge Troll, Divine Healing, Scavenging Fiend, Mailstorm, Common Sense, Fire Harpoons, Amazon Warriors, Swamp Maidens, or Swan Maidens, Cave Trolls, Incinerate, Land Surveyor, Pirate Ship, Swamp Buffalo, Snow Leopard, and Simple Village. Alright, Ruins, Leap Attack, Windmill, Flame Wave, okay, so that says... Border Militia, Avalyn Deritz, Deep Sea Mermaids, Spectral Stalker, Overpower, Hollow Pirate Ship, Highland Clansmen, Filbury Bats, Porcupine Pufferfish, Petrosian, Calvary, and Autumn River. Blood, Shifting Sands, Armand Harpooners, Elementist, uh, oh, excuse me, Elementalist, nice and colorful, cool avatar, Disenchant, Mad Dash, Osridge Caravan, Fade, Belmonte Longbowman, Rain of Arrows, Holographic Ordinary. Wall of Air, Cloud Spirit, Pirate Ship, Sandstorm, Dark Tower. All right, we're getting down to our last few packs here. Looks like we got three left. Shifting Sands, Mud Flow. Uh, Phantasmal Shade, Black Obelisk, Blood Ravens, that's, that's my Elite for the pack, so it looks like maybe one Elite per pack. Jeez, sorry, my piles are falling over. Blood Ravens, Sacred Scarabs, Fenville Muse, Men of Lang, Old Salt Anchorman. Very cool, Holographic Sorcerer for an Avatar. Wicker Mannequin, Land Surveyor, Vile Imp, Sandworm, Gothic Tower. So usually when I uh, explore something new, I try not to do too, too much research on it. So I like uh, learning a bit more as I go. I feel like it feels a little more fun when you go into it with less knowledge. Phase Assassin, Awakened Mummies, Sea Raider, Land Deed. Scarecrow, Reign of Arrows, Apprentice Wizard, Critical Strike, Death of Night Demon, Wall of Ice, Sleep, Muck Lampreys, Bone Rabble, Rimland Nomads, and Dark Tower. We are on to the last pack. Okay. Carol Sirens. Quarrelsome Kobolds. Unland Eels. Carcamish Chimera. Very cool. Jeez. Grey Wolves. Heat Ray. 
Ice Lance, Blink, Grapple Shots, Blizzard, Exorcism, Siege Crabs, Ogre Goons, Spin Attack, and Gothic Tower. All right, I think real quick, I'll check out this box topper. So kind of wondering if the box topper is the exact same thing as this hollow avatar that I pulled. It does look like it, at least in the cellophane. Kind of interesting if the box topper has no unique markings on it to uh, differentiate from the pull that you can get in the packs. So there's all of our little token cards. I think those are pretty cool. I like that they did that. Okay, so there is a way to tell the difference. So as you can see, there's a little B right there for beta. This one doesn't have it. So you can tell the difference between a box top resource or a holographic and one that you pull from the set. And then got a rubble. And it looks like just a card that tells you all the artists. That's really cool too. Okay, well, hopefully I got this right when it came to the rarity, but I'll go through what I believe to be the hits of this opening. And I'll have to see after the video whether or not I got anywhere close to the value of the box. Like I said, around $250 to $300 at the time of filming this video. So, got a Nightmare, uh, Karmish Chimera, Landeed, Black Obelisk, Reign of Arrows in Ordinary, Holographic, Highland Falconer. I think this is probably a good hit. Kithra Mechanism, that's a unique hollow. Ghost Ship, Court Jester, Sinkhole, <coughs> Earthquake, Sinkhole, so that's an elite hollow. Lord of the Void, Ultimate Horror, Pact with the Devil. So these two, yeah, these are all uniques. Sorry. Mix up my piles. Real Revenant, Flaming Sword, Exceptional Hollow, Pirate Ship, Ordinary Hollow. All right, Flame Wave, Mel Storm, Bone Rabble, Ordinary Hollow, Polymorph, Belfry, Replication, Mix Aqua, Belfry. Master Tracker, Devil's Egg, uh, Panorama Manticore, and Autumn Unicorn in Hollow is an exceptional. Cortison Thieves, Ultimate Horror, Unland Angler, Ghost Ship, Siren Hydra, Master Tracker, uh, Magnetic Muzzle, a Spin Attack, Ordinary Hollow, and Candlemas Monks. Let me just double check through this pile that I didn't put any uniques in here. Okay, so those are all elites. So these are our uniques. And then for our holographic unique, that looks to be a, possibly our best hit. Very cool, even has a different back. So like I said, forgive me for my ignorance, first time opening a sorcery booster box. Uh, but a lot of fun, I definitely think I'm going to be opening more of these in the future. I really really like what they're doing here, love the artwork. Uh, looks like they have something, at least for modern times, a little unique here as far as the artwork goes. 
So I'll see you guys in future sorcery videos. I'm sure I got more beta boxes coming in. Have a few stored up. But this has been Escaped Alien. I always appreciate it if you guys want to leave me a like and a comment. It really helps me out. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.